Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, we will see how to simulate the beam deflection problem in ANSYS workbench. We will also do the analytical calculation with the help of strength of material formulas and we will compare both the results. First of all, I will define a problem. This is a cantilever beam which is shown in yellow color. This beam is fixed at one end and the point load is acting on the other side of the beam in the vertical direction. The length of this beam is L and the cross section is B by D. I took the force value as 300 Newton which is applied in the other end of the beam in the vertical direction. The length of the beam which is denoted by L is taken as 150 mm. B is the breadth of this beam which is taken as 10 mm and D is the depth of this beam which is also called the height of this beam which is taken as 10 mm. The beam is made up of the steel which is having Young's modulus 200 GPA or in other word 2 pi times 0 mega Pascal. The Poisson's ratio is 0.3. So let's open the ANSYS workbench. In ANSYS workbench, we will select the static structural module. For creating a beam, we should go into the geometry by double clicking it. Now the space claim will start. The space claim is opening. Space claim is open now. So first of all, we will draw a rectangle. Let's select a rectangle from here and we will draw a rectangle of 10 by 10 since the cross section of the beam was 10 by 10. Then go to design, select pull, select this face and drag it like this. Then just type 150 here because the length of the beam was 150. Just click outside. Now the beam is ready. Now we want to import this beam into ANSYS mechanical. So first of all go to workbench and double click on this model browser. This will open the ANSYS mechanical. It will take some time. Now you can see the beam is imported in ANSYS mechanical. So first of all we will check the material. So to check the material we will go in ANSYS workbench just click over engineering data the structural steel material is by default given in ANSYS workbench so Young's modulus is you can see here 2 into 10 to the power 11 pascal that is equals to 200 giga pascal and Poisson's ratio is 0.3 close this go to mechanical and this material is applied to this beam we can just check it by going into geometry click on this component and we can see in material assignment it is given here is structural steel now we proceed for the next step which is meshing so first of all we will click on mesh right click insert sizing and in sizing just select this body And let's suppose the element size is 2 mm. Just type 2 here. Go to mesh, right click and click on generate mesh. Now the meshing is started and meshing is completed. You can see the hex element are by default created here. So now meshing is completed, material is assigned. Now we will go to static structural we will define the boundary condition here so first of all right click go to insert and select fix support now we will fix one end of the beam let's suppose we will fix this face so just click over this face and select apply now you can see the fix support is given to this face now we will define the force Again go to static structural, right click, 
go to insert and select force from here for force we will select this phase apply in define by vector we will select components and we can see the force should be applied in minus z direction so we will select minus 300 because we have taken the value of force 300 newton now you can see the direction is also visible here so now fix support is created force is applied now we will go for the solve click on solution right click and select solve now the problem is solving we will wait for this now you can see the problem is solved because the right tick is appearing in the solution now we will check the total deformation for this we will again click on solution right click insert go to deformation and select total now right click on total deformation and click on evaluate all results now you can see we have evaluated the total deformation the total deformation from 0 to 2.02 .02 mm is observed over this beam where the red color means the maximum deformation and the blue color means the minimum deformation go to results click on maximum so you can see this phase is having the maximum deformation now click on minimum and you can see this phase which was fixed is having the minimum deformation now switch off these options let's check the animation so this is how this deformation is carried out so now we are having the maximum uh, deformation of 2.024 which is obtained from the ANSYS workbench now we will check it by using the strength of material formula so let's start as we know the maximum deflection of the cantilever beam having a point load at the free end is given by PL cube by 3 EI where P is the load applied which is 300 Newton L is the length of the beam which is 150 mm E is the Young's modulus of the beam material which is structurally steel the value of Young's modulus is 200 GPA or 2 5 times 0 Newton per mm square or megapascal I is the moment of inertia of the beam about the neutral axis which is having the unit millimeter raised to the power force so when first of all we need to calculate the I which is BD cube by 12 where B is the breadth and D is the depth of the beam which is both which is 10 by 10 so we will just calculate the moment of inertia which is 10 raised to the power 4 by 12 after putting these values in the main formula we will get the 2.024 mm is the maximum deflection of the beam which is same as the maximum deformation obtained from the ANSYS workbench this type of problem is very useful especially for those who are starting to learn the ANSYS workbench so in this video I have shown you how to create beam, how to simulate a cantilever beam problem in ANSYS workbench also how to do the analytical calculation for the verification of the FEA results in the next video we will again take a different problem on the cantilever beam but with uniform distributed load which is UDL so just keep watching my channel also subscribe and like my channel for more some important videos Thanks for watching.